All right, ladies and gentlemen, someone asked me to do this video. I'm going to make it simple and easy for you to understand. If you want any press credentials in your native city, you either have to show the work and to prove the work, but also you have to have a reputation within the community as well, but you also have to have a good relationship with your local police, your media, and also your community. But with that said, someone is asking me about press credentials in New York City. I have tried to say this, I'm sorry, I tried to repeat this process by telling someone in person how it works. So how it works is that you have to give archives of your work. Yes, they have to be verified and have to be a certain kind of articles, documentarian, photographs, video, that may be coverage of any live city events that the city held or holds or open up to the community. So with that said, everyone, you do not go in person to apply. You have to apply online, especially if you're in New York City, you have to apply online first. Then the process gets reviewed by someone in the professional media and media and entertainment of New York City to evaluate your application. Once you do a clearance check, a background check, because they will ask you, have you been arrested for certain crimes? You have to be honest with it. So with that said, the process could take a week. It could take up to two weeks, but depends on the window. With that said, everyone, I'm just emphasizing what you have to do. If you have a website, if you have an LLC license, that would help you even better because you just established that you're either a videographer, a documentarian, an independent journalist, or a photographer. So with that said, everyone, the city is looking for people like that in every other city, Chicago, LA, uh, San Francisco, Portland, DC, Madison, Wisconsin, uh, uh, Boston, New York City, cities I have been doing media in and got press passes for. It's the same process to a portal. So, and if you do submit an application, you must upload a passport photograph. Make sure it's clear, guys. Passport photograph, two by two, passport photograph. Do you understand? But make sure that you upload all the files to those archives. If it's a video, you have to upload that video archive. If it's photos, you have to upload the photo archives. If it's an article, you have to link the article to the website and you have to link it to where you wrote it as proof of evidence that this is your content. So with that said, everyone, please take everything when I'm saying with a grain of salt. You have to prove all your contentions in your work to order to get a press pass. Now, it's easier for some people like YouTubers to get, what is it called? The press passes or independent press pass or like freelance press passes, they call it. Freelance press passes because they're YouTubers. But there are some YouTubers that do get standard press card passes and independent press card passes. So keep that in mind. I have an independent press card pass. So with that said, everyone, because I run my own website and I have proven my work and I have proven that I'm able to cover the, all the events or most of the events in New York City. And this is a thing that you have to link everything together. So with that said, everyone, this should give you some insight how to apply for any press credentials within your city.